My name is Naisha Arrington and we are cooking with Well and Good today. So these recipes are about celebrating what is in season. We're in this amazing time of late summer going into fall. So we're using some hard squashes, tomatoes, and beets. So in this recipe, really the star of the show is actually the vegetables. It's not just a basic salad with lettuce and some dressing. So today we're making a roasted beet and kabocha squash salad with a zesty lime vinaigrette and tons of fresh vegetables. So for this recipe, roasting those beets ahead of time is really gonna be the hardest lift in this. I took all of the smaller beets and I actually refrigerated them overnight. That's what we have here. So I'm just gonna slice these beets down um, into quarters. Again, make sure you have gloves on to protect your awesome manicure and also, you know, your skin. Because the beets do stain, take all of the necessary precautions. I also love to use a dark colored towel. I'm really a stickler for like a clean work surface. So what I do is layer my cutting boards. When I'm working with recipes that have multiple ingredients other than the beet, but there's not a ton of uh, juice in these beets. I actually roasted these the night before. So these beets are, are cold and you can um, basically just slice them. Um, I cut them in small bite-sized pieces, but not too small. Being that beet is in the name of the title, we wanna make sure that that's the star of the show, so to speak. So what I've done ahead of time is also roast this squash. This is a delicata squash. It's one of my favorite squashes. The awesome thing about these squash is that you can actually eat the skin. So the skin is super, super thin and it has tons of fiber in it. That's one of the reasons why I really love this delicata squash. So this delicata squash looks like this. Basically what I've done is essentially cut it down the middle. Really important steps with, when working with produce that is hard and also round is that there's not a really even work surface. What I like to do is when I'm working with hard squashes or a hard cheese or anything, I wanna create a work surface that allows my squash to be stable. What you wanna do is just kind of make an incision and cut down halfway. That's what I do as I cut the squash halfway. I take my knife out, I turn my squash around, I find that same incision, and then I cut down the backside. It allows you to not have to fight the squash. So my favorite Thing. when I was a kid, I would always remember carving pumpkins and like making things with different squashes and we'd always save the seeds and I would eat the pumpkin seeds and I loved that so much. So I'm a big stickler for that in terms of sustainability. So these seeds come out really, really easy. And to roast these, all you're gonna do is soak the seeds in salted water um, for a couple hours. And what happens is all the fibers come off, basically save all these seeds that you have soaked in your salted water and then roast them and they become really um, crunchy and delicious. I love making vinaigrettes and then I actually just keep the vinaigrettes in my refrigerator. Like, you know, I might make a different vinaigrette for the week, right? So this week I'm making a lime vinaigrette and I might use that in a few different applications. It doesn't just have to be for this salad only, right? Make your vinaigrette in the container that it's gonna live in. What's in here, you ask? Well, um, it's the beet juice drippings from the tray. When we roasted our beets, we folded them in aluminum foil, salt, some thyme, you know, a little bit of olive oil, and you put a little bit of water on the bottom of the tray so the beets steam a little bit. But what happens is you get this really concentrated sort of like beet drippings inside the aluminum foil containers as the beets cook. So about a tablespoon of beet juice. Uh, what I do is I love to use coriander. I am also going to add a touch of uh, cumin because I love cumin and citrus together. I put in about a half teaspoon of ground cumin, about a quarter teaspoon of coriander, and a good amount of black pepper. So we have our spices, a little bit of black pepper. It's gonna put a little bit of lime juice. I essentially used uh, two limes. Take the just the outer pith off. What's going to act as the sweeter sweetener in this is really the beet juice because there's a lot of natural sugar. But if you don't 
opt to save the juice and use that. You can totally use like agave or honey. You know, date syrup works great as well. With any vinaigrette, you really want balance, right? That's all we're going after. We have our base for our vinaigrette, so pretty. Now we're just gonna add our fat, basically, <clears throat> and a little bit of salt. The salt's just gonna help to brighten that up. Again, you can use Himalayan salt or sea salt. Those are my two favorites. And so here's the fun part, right? This is what we do um, in the restaurant world. So I'm basically gonna go about half and half, and then we'll taste it and see if we wanna add more oil. So you kinda wanna shake this pretty aggressively. It can be your workout for the day. Let's give it a taste. Yum. Needs a little bit more lime juice. So I want this vinaigrette to be a little bit more high acid than I might normally use because of the sweetness of the beets and because of the sweetness, mild sweetness in the delicata squash, right? So we want, when it hits the palate, we want it to be exciting, right? We want it to be bright and bold. And we also want it to not be on the same flavor playing field as the beets. I wouldn't want this to be too sweet. Okay, so that's done, right? That goes in my fridge. I take it out whenever I want to use it. The fun part is, for me is the assembly and the artistry in sort of crafting the experience and the bite of, of a salad. This is a mildly unconventional way to approach a salad, right? When we think salads, we also, we always think tons of lettuce and like maybe some garnishes, but we're kind of reverse engineering here and making our vegetables the stars of the show, which is so good for the body. I'm gonna leave my beets and my kabocha squash here for when I'm ready to plate. Today I have some grape tomatoes. You can use any tomato really, large heirloom tomatoes. Basically I like to just cut these in half and I'm just gonna cut these down lengthwise. I'm also gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of salt because when we're creating layers of flavor, everything should equally be delicious. We shouldn't think, oh my God, I'm at the end of plating my dish, now I need to season it, no. Everything should taste delicious on its own. And that's pretty much it. All I've done here is create my palette of, of art. And it's my favorite part. Delicata squash, so good. So I have these fancy tweezers. I just like them when I'm using beets because I don't have to get my hands dirty. Then I can really kind of articulate the salad. So for the beets, I roasted these but you can totally use some beets raw, right? You wouldn't want to uh, have all of the beets raw, but you can totally shave them really thin, which I've done here. I'm just gonna add a few beets in as garnish, but also for texture. So we have some tomatoes, lots of beets, a few shaved, a few shaved beets, and then our beautiful vinaigrette. I'm gonna spoon over the top before I add the rest of our garnishes. So this should add a nice bright pop of acid, some amazing color from reserving that, that cooked beet juice. And then a few pieces of like wild arugula is so nice. And I love texture, right? So I'll tend to add some seeds. We definitely wanna add those amazing delicata squash seeds that were in the center that we roasted. That's gonna add tons of texture and tell the story of the delicata squash. I have some sunflower seeds, so I'm gonna use those. I have some sesame seeds, which I love. And almonds, another favorite. Because I think when we're making salads, you want to feel satisfied. It's not just about this like super dainty thing. So I tend to use nuts and seeds because they have a lot of texture to them. This salad, it's a, it's a fun take on a salad, I think. It's a little bit unconventional, really pretty. You know, it's gonna make your soul happy. It's gonna put on a touch more vinaigrette because I love lots of sauce. You know, fun, pretty things don't have to be hard. This was, we made this under 30 minutes. It's just about pre-preparation, roast your beets ahead, roast your delicata squash ahead. And now you have vinaigrette for the rest of the week too. So that's always nice. And here's our salad. So bon appetit, I hope you enjoy it. So pretty. I love the acid against the sweetness. It's like, you're able to really craft your bite. I hope that people actually make this and can see that it can really be easy to craft 
really beautiful elevated food, but with the small sort of steps that you can do ahead of time in your cooking and plan out for the week or for the month really helps take a lot of the pressure off. And you end up with an amazing sort of progressive re-envisioned salad and that's super tasty. To see the full recipe, check out the description below. And for more recipes, subscribe to Well and Good.